Hello YouTube, um, it's me again. I just wanted to let you know, first of all, it's the Conker's Pad Friday walkthroughs. Yes, I'm still making them. In fact, I'm actually up to, I'm, unfortunately, I'm way behind Prototype Big Daddy. He's already at the Mighty Poo song. I'm not even close. The reason why is just that, uh, once again, I've been busy. Um, but, uh, I won't be on, on Xbox Live or anything this weekend because I'm going to be at my dad's in California, so, yep. Anyway, um, also, this is just a blog. I, I, yesterday, I was, I was just saying to one of my friends, you know, I haven't heard of this, of Secret World in such a long time. I really haven't. I mean, who really, I mean, just nobody heard about it. Like, nobody knew about it. Nobody was talking about it. We just saw this trailer that looks kind of cool, and I just assumed it got canceled. Because it seemed like for seven or eight months we just saw completely nothing. And, um, well, I was wrong. Uh, this trailer just went on today, and I think it's amazing. I really do. I, I think it was, uh, I think it's great. My only thing is, straight, uh, apparently Secret World is supposed to be an MMO, which... I'm not sure how that's going to work. I think it would have been better for if it was just a single player game. And it's a zombie game, of course. And once again, only on the PC and 360. PS3 users, you've gotten like three zombie games. You're going to get like three zombie games since June 2010. You know, like one third of Brutal Legend is killing zombies. Rising Evil 5 and Dead Rising 2. And that's all PS3 is seeing. PS3 really, to my knowledge, doesn't see too many zombies. I don't know why. I think it's I think it's Left 4 Dead. That's just my opinion. Anyway, yeah. Bioshock 2. This is going to be a, a, com a combination of both this topic and the next topic. Because the next topic was going to be about my uh, capture card. Because I want to get back into recording professionally, you know? Like, if you see some of my old videos, it's done off of a capture card. In the last three videos before YouTube um, decided to get gay on me and kind of started, you know, watching me a little bit more. But I, that's what I thought. I first thought it was YouTube causing all these problems, but apparently it was, uh, it was iMovie. iMovie's also giving me some more troubles. Once I fix one problem, another problem starts. It seems to happen to me every time I use YouTube. It's just so unfair. You have no idea how lucky you are that you don't have to deal with this on YouTube. Most people don't deal with it. Anyway, back to Bioshock 2. I want to be able to review it with my capture card. And um, with Prototype Big Daddy and that game, will I will be doing a review of it. No matter what, if, even if I have to use my webcam. That's right. My webcam. <laughs> it's a desperate day. I'm going to review that game. Anyway, I cannot wait for it, but I'm trying to have no expectations. Because that's the only way to get the full enjoyment of the game. Next thing, capture card. Um, I have a room right over, way down that hallway. They call it the music room. I call it the storage room. There's about 20 or 40, there's 30 or 40 boxes in there. And in one of those boxes, in one little small corner, is my Pinnacle Studios capture card. And I can't look for it at all this weekend. Can't look for it tomorrow. I can't look for it the day after that, so... You know, I may be able to look for it tomorrow, I'm not sure, but not the day after that. Uh, so anyway... <sighs> it's just bad. Bad. It, yeah. Anyway, another game I'd also like to talk about. It's a very underrated uh, 360 game, Brutal Legend. Of course, I mentioned earlier. Brutal Legend is a game that I highly recommend for you. I I think it went down in price. I haven't seen it around lately. But I'd just like to tell you, if you can find a copy, get it. But that's only if you're a rock or metal fan. Because honestly, Brutal Legend is only meant for those people. 
It's not meant for rap bands whatsoever. Another thing. Um, Modern Warfare 2. I... Actually, no, no. Skip Modern Warfare 2. I gotta talk about Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 was, to me, a disappointing game. I'm not sure... I mean, I do know what it was, but I'm not sure why it happened like that. So, in the first one, I didn't fall in love with the story, I didn't fall in love with the graphics, I didn't fall in love with the gameplay, that's not what made me fall in love with the first one. The first one was good because of the, uh, open world environment, I loved that. Clang is a medieval assassin who could go wherever he wanted. The kingdom connect connects to three or four different cities, if you count the assassin city. And, in Assassin's Creed 2, it feels a lot like the Brutal Legend open world. And, if, just in case you haven't played the Brutal Legend games, I mean, the Brutal Legend game, um, Brutal Legend, its map is linear, very linear. It's basically, if I were to draw a line from here to, uh, sorry, from here, right here, to here, but I had a whole bunch of curves all the way around it, and called that open world. That was what, what Brutal Legend was. Not too big of an open world, but it was actually a pretty interesting open world. Because they spent a little less time on the geography. I mean, like, on the way how everything's shaped. Like, it's, for me, because it, it's basically just a pathway from, like, you know, here to here. Um, but in Brutal Legend, every part of the game just feels so different. It's just pretty amazing. And, yeah, Assassin's Creed 2, every place for me feels the same and small. Recreation of Italy, great, fantastic. I just feel the game's very linear. It's not, in the first Assassin's Creed, you had to study your target. And in the new one, you it just tells you where to go. It tells you where to find the target, you just run up to him, stab him, he's dead on the ground, you win. What to do? And escaping is so easy now. I remember when it used to be a challenge. I remember when Assassin's Creed used to be hard. It's not anymore. It's very easy. It has the same problem I had with Resident Evil 5. Boring. Resident Evil 5 was not scary. It was boring. When I hear somebody says scary, all I want to say is, Come on. Uh, I'll come over to my house. But let's play Condemned 2. You will shit your pants. Yeah, I mainly wanted to talk about how disappointing Assassin's Creed 2 was. I'm not gonna get the DLC. I don't think a game... I don't think the DLC will even be coming close to redeeming it. It just looks like more of the same. So, no. Assassin's Creed also should not have DLC. Unless it's like multiplayer or something. I mean, then it shouldn't have DLC. Also... This is also going to be an Assassin's Creed 3 rant. If if that new game with 16 player multiplayer is Assassin's Creed 3, that's it. No, I'm not buying that. As awesome as Assassin's Creed multiplayer sounds, no. Ezio is the worst assassin I've ever seen. I don't want to play another game with Ezio in it. Ezio was so bad. Poorly, poorly done. I like the concept of they did, like, assassins in the middle of Europe and, um, of, like, Eastern Europe, Western Asia. I liked that whole concept. And then I, like, and then when I was thinking, yes, yeah, the assassins in Italy, yeah, that sounds cool. Um, and I was like, international assassins are talking about the assassination organization everywhere. Still, uh, still. Assassin's Creed 2, disappointing. Assassin's Creed 3, right? Just, Assassin's Creed 2 broke my heart. I thought that game was going to be amazing, but... Sadly, it wasn't. That's it for me, guys. See ya.